So you're thinking about moving to West Jordan, Utah. Well, in today's video, I'm telling you everything you need to know about living here in West Jordan. I'm out here at the Veterans Park today here in West Jordan, Utah, and I've lived in this city here for the last 25 years and know this place like the back of my hand. Before we get into the video, my name is Marvin Alvarado, the sneakerhead realtor here in Salt Lake City, Utah, and I get calls and messages from people just like you every single day looking to make their move here to the state of Utah. And I love hearing from you guys. So if you're thinking about making the move here in the next three days, three months, or even a year from now, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, you can call me, text me, email me. All of my contact information is below. I look forward to hearing from you, and I look forward to helping you make your move to Utah as smooth as possible. Now, let's jump into the video. So today we're talking about West Jordan, Utah, here in Salt Lake County. So West Jordan is one of the biggest cities here in the Salt Lake City area. Um, it's about, you know, 20 minutes or so from downtown Salt Lake City. Um, and you're surrounded from, uh, from some of the other cities like Kearns, Taylorsville, Midville, South Jordan, and the, the uh, Daybreak area here. Um, but like I said, uh, from downtown Salt Lake City to West Jordan, you're about a uh, 20-minute drive or so. Um, right now is a, a little bit of a higher uh, traffic time, so rush hour. Um, so it's probably going to take you a little bit longer than it typically would. Um, but like I said, you're still around 20 minutes or so, um, give or take, depending on what area you are in of West Jordan. Um, but a little bit about West Jordan here. So uh, with a population of about 116,000 here in the city, um, like I said, it's one of the biggest cities here in the area. Um, but this you know, city has a lot to offer. I've lived here for a very long time and kind of have seen the growth that, uh, you know, has happened here in this area. Um, but West Jordan starts here on the border of the Jordan River Parkway. Um, and it goes all the way east, or sorry, west, um, to the Bacchus Highway, which is over here, over on this side, on the west side of uh, uh, the valley. Um, but we'll start over here on the uh, the east side of West Jordan. Um, some of the things that it has to offer, and uh, you know some of the things that you can do with your family and places that you can check out. Uh, so first off, one of the you know most popular things here in West Jordan is uh, the Gardner Village. Um, so this uh, area has is a historical area. Um, it's got some restaurants, some shopping. And um, it's right there next to, like I said, the Jordan River Parkway, uh, where this is uh, an area that you can go for walks, um, take your bikes out, and it, you know, the spans across, um, you know, from about, you know, Salt Lake City down to about um, the, you know, South Jordan Draper area. Um, so there's a trail that you can ride your bikes or take a walk in the evenings um, with your family. Um, but the Gardner Village is, you know, somewhere where, like I said, you have restaurants. Um, like uh, during the, the the fall, they have uh, Halloween activities. Um, there's also an indoor soccer place um, here in the Garden Village area that you can check out, and um, you know something that you can sign up if you have you know friends or family to, to start a team. Um, but let's go here a little bit further. Uh, one of the things here, uh, this is where I was at earlier in the video, is the uh, Veterans Memorial Park. Um, this is a uh, you know a pretty big park here in West Jordan. Um, there's a lot, a lot of different play areas for kids in different uh, age groups. Um, and it just, there's like also a big, uh, you know, trail that you can walk around the park itself. There's a lot of, you know, uh, grass. Um, a lot of time they have, you know, kids, you know, practicing soccer or playing soccer. Um, there's also a, a few baseball fields and there's also, um, the West Jordan library there, uh, which is a fairly new library, uh, nice, very nice building. Um, and it's like I said, it's right next to the park. So in the summer, if you know you go to the park and you just want to cool off for a bit, you can head over to the library and check that out. Um, but another cool thing here about this area is uh, um, there's a stadium. So during the Fourth of July weekend, for example, uh, they hold a pretty big rodeo here and in this um, park. Um, and during this, during the same time, the Fourth of July weekend, um, there's a, a carnival going on here at the Veterans Memorial Park. So they'll have uh, rides and food vendors um, and all different types of things you can check out. Um, there's also a big uh, fireworks show for the Fourth of July, and they also do a Fourth of July parade um, that kind of goes through the uh, the Redwood Road here that we have. So it starts about um, you know here where the city hall is. Um, which is about uh, this area right here. Um, so it starts there and then it goes down all the way down to Redwood till about 70th, 70th South, which is about right here. 
Um, but the City Wizard does a lot of, you know, cool activities, you know, for holidays. And then, um, you know, all throughout the year, there's different things going on that you can check out. Um, same area right here. There's also the, the rec center. So they have a really cool um, pool for the West Jordan residents. Um, there is a fee to get in, but it's, you know, very cheap. Um, it's about, you know, $4 a person. And I think about $2 for, for kids and, and kids under two are free to get in. Um, there's also a, a golf course here in West Jordan called the Mountain View Golf Course. Uh, so let's go in and just take a quick look at that. Um, so it's got about a 3.9 um, star rating. Um, and it, it's, it's a pretty big uh, golf course. So if it's something that, you know, golf course is something, or sorry, golf, if golf is something that you're into, you know, and, uh, you know, a hobby of yours is something that may be worth checking out. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other things that, that West Jordan has here to offer. So, um, as I mentioned, the West Jordan area is gonna going to span over here um, to the east side, as far as to the west side, over to the Bacchus Highway. Um, but the majority of this area here, the the east side of West Jordan, is going to be a lot of residential homes. Um, there is some businesses here, you know, uh, through some of the major um, streets. Like, for example, um, the one we were looking at earlier here where the Veterans Memorial Park, 7800 South, it runs all the way up, um, you know, towards the east side of uh, the west side of West Jordan. Um, so this street right here goes all the way up. And then we have uh, 90th South, which is um, and this road right here. It goes all the way up also. Um, these are, for the most part, going to be the two main roads that you have to take uh you know up if you live in this area on the west side of west jordan um which is up towards uh this mountain side here um but as i mentioned a lot of this area is going to be residential there's a, there's some shopping here one of the major shopping centers that we have here in west jordan is uh located here um just off the Bangor highway and that's uh the jordan landing shopping center um this shopping center is massive as you can see um, there's pretty much anything that you will need here in this area, um, anywhere, anything from, you know, a Walmart, a uh, Sam's Club, um, there's a couple gyms like Planet Fitness and EOS, uh, Barnes & Noble, you know, the a Nike factory store, um, tons of restaurants, uh, there's a really great sushi spot here uh, called Sakana. Um, so if you're in the area, I would definitely, you know, highly recommend, you know, the sushi spot to take, to, to, to check out. Um, but there's tons of different things here to offer, you know, as far as, uh, you know, food wise and shopping wise. So, uh, if you live in West Jordan, um, this is primarily where you'll probably go if you need to, um, pick up any groceries or anything like that. Um, but we also have, you know, several other grocery stores here in the area, um, like a Macy's, uh, which is a local grocery store. Um, we have a couple Smiths here in the area. Um, but even if, you know, even if you are, uh, further on the West side of, of West Jordan, there's still other shopping centers, you know, over by in South Jordan and the Kearns area. Um, but one of the other things that West Jordan has is, uh, the South Valley regional airport. Uh, this is a smaller airport for smaller aircrafts. Um, so not a whole lot of, um, you know, activity going on here as far as, you know, major for major travel traveling. Um, it's just smaller aircrafts here in this area, but. It's something that you'll see, you know, fairly often if you're driving through this area. There'll be planes landing and just, you know, planes, you know, flying above. Um, but once we get up here a little bit further west, um, like I said, this is also going to be the majority of it. It's going to be rested at residential. Um, but once we get up here to the to the west side, this is where a lot of the new construction is happening happening in the West Jordan area. So there's a lot of new homes here um, in this uh, area here of West Jordan. Um, but this is a higher elevation. One of the things to keep in mind, um, if, if you, if you live in this area is that, you know, if you live, if you work downtown or if you work over in Lehigh in the Silicon Slopes area or wherever you work, you know, in the Salt Lake Valley, um, you know, there's only te technically there's only a, a couple ways to be able to get up to this West side. Um, so the first is obviously going through these, uh, smaller streets, um, or the main roads that, you know, lead up to the west side, which is 7800 South and uh, 90th South. Um, the other way is going to be, you know, if you take Bangor here and then uh, head up one of the, the main streets, also 70th or 90th. Um, but then we also have the, the Bacchus Highway where, uh, depending on, like I said, where you work, 
Um, it is an option for you to get up to this, you know, west side of West Jordan. Um, but yeah, like I said, there's a lot going on here as far as new construction. Um, you know, grocery stores, this area right here is starting to get really developed um, with a lot of businesses um, like a Smith's grocery store. And there's also some smaller restaurants and obviously some other, um, you know, familiar restaurants that, that you'll see here, like like a, a Taco Bell or um, Taco Time, uh, Domino's, those type of things. Um, but as far as this area, like I said, uh, because you're at higher elevation here, you're going to be able to, you're going to be seeing um, a lot more snow than you would be, you know, here, at, you know, on the, you know, old West Jordan area, even though it's only about a, you know, 15 minute drive or so, 10 to 15 to minute, depending on how much traffic, um, but you're going to be able to see a, you know, significant difference in snow when there are some snowstorms um, between here, this area here and uh, this area on the, the West side of West Jordan. But overall, you know, West Jordan has a lot of great things to offer. Um, and like I said, a lot of shopping. Um, and uh, there's also one of the things that, that uh, is also really um, popular is there is a Salt Lake Community College. Um, so this community college has several locations throughout the valley. Um, but the Salt Lake Community uh, West Jordan location is fairly big. So um, it's a pretty big, you know, uh, spot for, for the local students. Um, um. But there's also a hospital here, uh, the Jordan Valley Hospital. Um, so you have that really, uh, you know, really close by, depending on where you live here in the West Jordan area. Uh, one of the things to, to keep in mind that's uh, really beneficial is, you know, regardless of where you live in West Jordan, uh, you know, anything that you'll need as far as shopping or groceries, um, you're going to be within, uh, you know, uh, about a you know, five to 10 minute drive. Um, the next thing to keep in mind um, you know, as far as the city of West Jordan is, um, overall, you know, the public schools have a pretty good rating. Um, you know, like I mentioned earlier, the population is at about 116,000. Um, the median home, but you know, price is about 342,000. Uh, you know, there's a lot of, you know, starter homes in West Jordan that are going to range, you know, like in the, you know, high 300s to 400 thousands. Um, but they also have the ability to, to, to get into like condos or townhomes that are going to, they're going to be in a little bit of a lower price range. Um, but overall, the majority of the, the residents of West Jordan are homeowners, um, about 77% own their home and about 23%, uh, you know, rent their home. Um, the median rent price is going to be about 1300, um, almost $1,400. Uh, keep in mind, this is going to be for a smaller apartment. Um, and it's not going to be something that's going to be super modern. Um, so, you know, rent, unfortunately, is getting, you know, a, a little bit on the expensive side um, here in the state of Utah. Um, a lot of times, you know, depending on your specific situation, it just makes a lot more sense uh, to buy your own home. Um, but other than that, you know, the West Jordan uh, city, you know, has ranked number nine as the most diverse su suburbs in Utah and uh, number 22 as one of the most diverse places to live in the state of Utah, and number 33 as a, one of the best suburbs for young professionals here in the state of Utah. Now, let's go ahead and, you know, and take a look at some of the homes that you know, West Jordan has to offer. Uh, like I said, you're, you're gonna be able to see starter homes from the you know, high th 300s to you know, 400,000s. Um, you know, that includes condos and townhomes. Um, but then, you know, we also have a ton of single family homes right now in the city, city of West Jordan, there's about 160 homes for sale. Um, like for example, we have this one right here, that's, uh, 470,000. Um, and then we, we have, uh, some, you know, starting to 500,000 range, um, that are a little bit newer. This is on that, on that West side of, of the West Jordan that I was talking about, uh, but like I said, we have, you know, houses that are going to be in, you know, in all different price ranges. Um, there's going to be some houses that are up in the seven, eight hundred, even a million. Um, but we're not going to see a whole lot of those here in the city of West Jordan. Um, but uh, like I said, West Jordan, you know, is a great place to live. I've lived here, you know, in this area for the last, you know, 20, 25 years. So I'm very familiar with the area. Um, but if you have any questions that you want, you know, that you want answered, let me know in the comments what questions you have. Uh, let me know uh, what questions you have about, you know, West Jordan or outside of the West Jordan area or the greater Salt Lake City area. If you want to see any videos about a specific, you know, topic or specific area, feel free to leave that in the comments. Otherwise, you know, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.